Hello, and welcome to Case of the Day. I'm Dr. Crowley, and today we're going to discuss a, a patient who came in uh, with actually what's called a corneal abrasion. Now, this particular individual uh, was a young woman who actually had permanent eyeliner uh, applied and then afterwards had severe pain, and it turns out during the procedure at some point she actually suffered a corneal abrasion. So what is a corneal abrasion? So the cornea is the clear part in front of the blue or brown part of your eye, and this corneal dome sits over and then there's fluid between your iris and your cornea, and there's different layers to your cornea. So the outer epithelium is a layer of cells that cover just like the skin, of the outer part, then there's a, a stromal level, and then there's an endothelium, and there's a couple other different membranes, but those are the basics. So when people, if someone gets a corneal abrasion, these outer, outer cells are torn loose, or, and that's what we call a corneal abrasion. Now this particular individual, sometime during the procedure, maybe someone uh, an instrument hit the eye or whatever and caused the abrasion and this particular lady had a very large abrasion that covered maybe 30 percent of the whole corneal area and was in very you know was in severe pain uh, and um, it will slowly heal and is the size of that abrasion is probably going to take five or six days for that abrasion to heal uh, someone can have a very small abrasion, still be very painful, but almost in 24 hours that abrasion can heal. So how do people get corneal abrasions? Well, commonly we see young uh, mothers who have children who accidentally poke them in the eye. Uh, obviously from different sports we see people who then get poked in the eye either doing basketball or football or whatever. Uh, altercations where people get into fights, we see abrasions, and so there can be uh, a variety of things. What do we do about a corneal abrasion? So when someone has a corneal abrasion, we typically will put them on an antibiotic because just like if you had an open sore on your skin, you would put an antibiotic ointment on there to keep it from getting infected while it heals. It's not such a big deal about having a little extra scar or if you had a mild little infection as it heals, but when you're talking about the surface of your cornea, any kind of scarring, especially if it's located in your pupil, could result in vision loss, which you don't want to happen. So we typically put people on antibiotic eye drops to keep them from getting an infection as their eye heals. We could put them on some pain medicines as well for a few days, depending on the size of the abrasion. And um, sometimes, it depends on the individual, we will put an eye patch over the eye for the first day just to let that heal so that the eyelid is not rubbing up and down on that abrasion and which is very painful. So a lot of times we patch the eye shut after we put some antibiotic ointment in the eye and that gives people a little extra relief. Um, also, there are cases where we can actually even put a soft contact lens over the cornea and so that way it covers over the abrasion and, and gives relief and then the, the abrasion can heal underneath the contact lens. Uh, and that's another method that can be used. Sometimes we just don't do anything and just let it heal on its own and they're, they're not a patched at all. So that depends on the patient's comfort level. Some people don't like the feel of a patch on their eye and some people it provides relief. So we let the individual sort of choose how they want to go with the a patch or no patch. Um, so basically as long as the abrasion is just those cells that have been torn loose and they heal back then typically that person heals back everything's normal and okay again. There are some rare instances where people have had that kind of injury and as the cells heal back together there's little hemidesmosomes, little hooks that connect our cells to each other so otherwise we would fall apart if the cells don't stick together. And so sometimes those little hemidesmosomes don't attach really well and people can get what's called recurrent corneal erosion. That is their eye the cells are not exactly totally normal and this can happen even years later where they wake up one morning, their eyes are a little dry and it tears off those cells and they're in pain again. And every morning when they wake up they tear a few cells off and they're in pain again. That's the reason it's called recurrent because it keeps recurring in the morning. A lot of times that's also related to someone who has dry eyes that get recurrent corneal erosion. Uh, so anyway, if you have any questions about a corneal abrasion, 
uh, you can contact us through the website. We'll happy, be happy to try to answer any questions you have. If not, may God bless you with healthy eyes and great vision.